Hello guys, welcome to Geo Automotive. I am Gaurav Advani and today we are here for a new variant that has been added to the Kushak lineup. Earlier Kushak was offered in three variants: Active, Ambition and Style. This variant sits between the base variant that is Active and Ambition and is called as Ambition Classic variant. This variant gets more features than Active variant, which makes it a better option to buy if you want more features but at a lower price point. This variant comes with only a single engine option, a 1 liter TSI petrol engine with both manual and automatic transmissions to choose from. We will talk about their price later in the video. By the time if you are finding the videos to be interesting, make sure that you are subscribing to the channel. Now let us get into the video and talk about it briefly. Let us start with the exterior. In the front it gets projector based LED headlamps along with LED DRLs and turn indicator, halogen based fog lamps placed underneath. Blacked out front grille along with chrome surround with Skoda's logo in the center. Silver finished kit plate. And this is how the overall front design of the car looks. Talking about the side profile, on the side it gets 16 inch alloy wheels with a tire profile of 205 60R16. Branding of Skoda done on the fender. Turn indicators placed on the ORVM. Body color door handles. Silver finished roof rails. Shark fin antenna. Now take a wider view at the side profile of the car. It gets an overall length of 4.22 meters, width of 1.76 meters, and height of 1.6 meters. Let us now talk about rear end. This is how the tail lamps look. You also get turn indicators placed here. Reflectors underneath. Branding of Skoda. Rear wiper, rear defogger, high mount stop lamp along with shark fin antenna. Branding of Koshak, three reverse parking sensors along with skid plate at the rear too. This is how the rear end of the car looks. Let us now open the boot. We get an overall boot space of 385 liters. The seats now come with 60 40 split at the rear. You also get halogen cabin light inside the boot, parcel tray. Now let us get inside the car and notice all the changes in the variant. Let us now talk about the interior. On the driver's side door you get controls for all the 4 power windows with one touch up and down feature only on the driver's side. Controls for ORVM, chrome finish interior door handle, fabric finish here on the door, space for 1 litre bottle and some additional storage. Controls here for headlight, fog lamp, headlight leveler and AC vent. The seats come with manual adjustment for both reach and height. Fabric finish here on the seats along with orange and white strip in the center. Take a look at the key of the car. It basically gets three buttons to unlock, to open the boot and to lock the car. Now let us get inside the car and talk about every feature briefly. First of all take a look at its steering wheel. You get two spoke leather wrapped steering wheel which is quite comfortable to hold on. On the left side you get controls for music system. You get Skoda's logo in the center. On the right side controls for instrument cluster and this is how overall the steering wheel looks. Take a look at its instrument cluster. On the left side you get analog tachometer. On the right side analog speedometer with MID in center we can, which you can toggle with controls provided on the steering wheel. On the left side controls for cruise control and indicators. On the right side controls for wipers. You also get paddle shifters in this variant so that's again a good feature. 10 inch Tusky infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity which is overall quite smooth and easy to use. You also get two AC vents here underneath. Controls here for hazard light and to lock the car. Controls here for AC. Two charging sockets along with a space to keep your mobile. Automatic gearbox along with a 12 volt charging socket. Twin cup holders with a space to keep the key of car. Handbrake, slidable driver armrest. You get gloss silver finish here on the dashboard with a different texture here. You also get ambient lighting in the Ambition Classic variant so that's again a great feature. Decently sized cool glove box. And this is how the overall dashboard of the car looks. Overall the dashboard feels to be quite premium. The feature that it misses out is auto dimming IRVM. You do not get that in this variant. Sunglass holder on the top with two LED cabin lights. You do not get vanity mirror here on the driver's side but you get that on the co-driver's side. Overall this was all about the interior. Let us now talk about the second row. 
On the door you get controls for power window, grab handle, chrome finish interior door handle, fabric finish provided here on the door. This is how the seats of the second row look like. You get the same fabric finish done here on the seats along with orange and white strips on the seat. Center armrest along with two cup holders. Three adjustable headrest for the second row seat passengers. Now let us get inside the second row and talk about space first. The knee room and leg room overall are quite good for a tall heighted person. Short and medium heighted person would sit comfortably at the rear row there would be no problem. You also get a mobile holder and a magazine holder at the seats. Rear AC vents. Note that rear AC vents are only available in automatic transmission variants. Two charging circuits placed underneath. And this is how the overall dashboard of the car looks. In terms of safety it gets two airbags, ABS, EBD, heel hold control and electronic stability program. Two LED cabin lights placed on the top. Grab handle with coat hook on both the sides. Now let, let us talk about can three people sit at the rear. The seats are comfortable enough and are best suited for two adults and a child in between. Three adults could sit but it would be a congested area. So this was all about the Ambition Classic variant of Skoda Kushak. Talk about how much you have to pay for it. This variant with manual transmission cost Rs 12.69 lakhs and Rs 14.09 lakhs for automatic transmission. Both the prices are ex showroom India. Now on screen you can see the features that it gets over the active variant and the features that it misses out from the Ambition variant. If you want to know more about the Ambition variant, I have already made a video on it. Just click on the i button to watch the video. If you find all this information to be useful and videos to be interesting, do press the like button and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.